Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing well at home. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. We continue to pray for you and we hope that you're safe and healthy and that you're washing your hands every time you touch something. Okay, maybe not that often, but at least at least to get those little germs off. But so we're happy to be here, right, Coach Primer? Absolutely. Every day we're here. It's another day we can praise God. Another day we can be an example to everybody else around us. So last week we talked about the burdens, the burdens that we carry that we need to learn to give to God. And we had a, do you guys remember a water challenge game? Do you guys remember Josiah's face? Josiah? <laughs> Where they had their hands out, they had to hold the water. And if they couldn't hold it anymore, Coach Primer was walking around saying, hey, I can take it from you. I can take it from you. And then at the end, you gave the example where these are the burdens that we carry and we can give to God. And, you know, that's, that's all good. And we understand now that we have burdens that we can give them to God. But what do we do then? What do we do after that? Do you know what we do after that, Coach Primer? I do, actually. Um, once we give our burdens to God, what we can do is we put it all at his feet. The Bible says that we bring all of our stresses, all of our burdens, all of our worries, and leave it at the altar. God is here to help us. He's here to, to encourage us. He's here to help us get through certain situations. As difficult as they may seem, God is always there to help us. He's always there to guide us. He's always there to give us a direction that we need to help us see things through. Um, and always with... Uh, well, it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows, but understand that God is always in control, and God will always be there for us. He'll never leave us. He'll never leave us. Right. So are you saying we are to trust God with all of our burdens? Trust is a perfect word. Trust is an absolutely perfect word. Um, God asks us over and over and over again to trust him, and... You know, as life happens, as life goes on, and, you know, you guys are kids, you guys are young, um, there might have been some situations already where you felt, you know, maybe the trust wasn't there, whether it be a friend, right. whether it be maybe a coach. Not me, though. <laughs> no, not, not you. <laughs> yeah. um, but you know what? At the end of everything, God is always there to bring you up. God is always there to help you. Because in every situation that we come across, it's prepping us, it's giving us practice for bigger situations that are going to come. So every time, sometimes God says no, or sometimes when situations come that we're not really too excited about, right. it doesn't mean we need to discourage, doesn't mean we need to be angry about the situation, but in turn, ask ourselves, what can we do? How can I use this opportunity to make myself better for a future situation that may come? Again, trusting God does have a plan. Yes, trusting him that he already knows what's coming. He already knows our future. So we have to trust that whatever decision he gives for us is the right decision, right? And today we have some of our special guests, like you guys saw last week, and you guys saw them jumping around earlier while they're here to help us. If you guys didn't see the video last week, just click right here on this link. I'm just kidding. How many of you guys looked over there? <laughs> There's not a link, but just go back on YouTube. You can find it. <laughs> But the trust exercise that they're, they're going to show us today what it is to trust somebody, okay? We just talked about trusting in God, and trusting is big because we have to learn to trust our parents that they're going to take care of us. We have to learn to trust our friends that they're always going to be there when we need them. We need to learn to trust our teachers that they're going to help us learn and teach us new things every day. Our coaches? Oh, yes, our coaches, that they're going to give us right direction, teach us how to swing the bat, and teach us how to throw the football. We have to trust in people. So how do we do that? How do we learn to trust in people? Sometimes we have to do exercises to teach ourselves so that our mind can think, oh, this is how I trust somebody. To be able to trust somebody, one of these drills or exercises that we're going to do is you're going to be stretched. Again, whether it's teachers, whether it's coaches, whether it's um, parents, brothers, sisters, Understand, people who love you are never going to put you in a situation that's going to allow you to fail or to expecting you to fail. They're always doing things that are going to benefit you. Again, it may be tough and you may fail, but that's okay. You get up and you keep on moving forward. But understand that that person who loves you will be there to help you out in this situation. That's right. You dust yourself off and you get up. Okay, guys, come on. Get up and show us your little exercise. So as you can see, 
you got JJ over here and Josiah are doing a trust fall. Do you really trust them, Josiah? Maybe. <laughs> Why maybe? Because I can't trust them. He already <laughs> did stuff like this and she dropped me. <laughs> I didn't drop you. <laughs> but here's the difference. But you're still doing it, right? You know that he's not going to let you fall, right? Every situation that we're going to go through, again, it's always going to be difficult. But we don't quit and we don't stop. How do you feel, Julie? Do you trust your brother's not going to drop you? Yes. Do you trust that he is going to drop you? No. <laughs> what about you, Jonah? I, I trust in myself and her that she won't wobble. Good big brother. Good big brother. Now try doing some squats with her. <laughs> How about you guys? How are you guys doing? Mia, you love your brother? Yeah, yeah. Do you trust that he's not going to push you over and make you fall and in front of all of these people watching at home, all your friends, that he's not going to embarrass you and push you over? I think he's going to push me. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ethan? Would you do that to your sister? Uh, no. Why? Uh, because she's my sister. And? <laughs> and she's my sister. And? What else? You love her? Oh, yeah, but I don't say that. <laughs> oh, the brotherly love, I tell you. So <laughs> I guess it's not a cool thing to say I love you to my sister while the world is watching. It's okay. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you. All right, guys. You guys can stop doing your exercises and sit back down for us. And Coach Primer is going to help Julie get off so she doesn't fall for real. Again, even that was kind of even a good example. God's always going to be there when we're in a tough position and we don't really trust that our brother's gonna, not going to let us fall. God will always be there. Even when we do fall, he's always there to pick us back up. Exactly. So if you're at home right now and you have your Bible app or you have your regular paper Bible, open it up. We're going to just go over um, a scripture here. If you can open up to Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6, says... Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. Wow. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Not just with some of your heart, but all of your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. What does that mean to not lean on my own understanding? Well, I haven't done everything that can be done in this world. I, there's a lot of things that... I haven't done and I thank God for, and there's a lot of things that I have done that I do thank God for, but at the same time, I don't have all the answers. I don't have it all figured out, but I do know that God knows everything that happened yesterday, today, and tomorrow, so my understanding is always never going to be enough, but God's understanding is always enough. He's always going to know the whole, the whole everything. Yeah, because he has the whole picture already. He knows our whole life from beginning to end. He knows what path we're going to take. And we need to continue to trust that his way is the right way and not lean on our own understanding, thinking, oh, well, maybe that's what God wants for me, but I don't think I want that for myself. So let me ask you guys a question there at home. How many times have your parents or your brother or your coach or your sister has asked you to do something that you weren't 100% comfortable with? Whether that be get on a roller coaster, whether that be, you know, get in the batter's box and take a swing at a pitcher that's throwing really fast. Maybe coming up on stage and singing, right? Yeah. Or maybe coming up here and talking to a yes. bunch of people on the internet, right? That's kind of scary for us. Yeah. But you know what? We have trust. And I got a good example because there's been a couple times, a lot of times, where have I actually told Josiah, get on the roller coaster, right? Is that true or not? Yeah. Yeah. And were you scared to get on that roller coaster? Yes. And are you still alive today to tell that story? Yes. Yes, he is. He's right here. He's real. Look, I can touch him. <laughs> But so a lot of those situations, I know that he's not, I know how that roller coaster ends. He's never been on that before, but I've been on it numerous times to know that he's going to be safe and he's going to be fine. God's the same way. He knows what's going to come. We got to have that trust in him. Right. Yeah. That's a really good example. Just like a parent take care of, takes care of their child. We make sure that the roller coaster is safe. We encourage you to join sports. We take care of you every day. We feed you just like your parents do that. That's the same, same way that God treats us and looks after us. So always trust in him and that he has your best interest at heart. 
So, as we always do, right, we always give God the glory Amen. at the beginning, at the middle, and at the end, right? Mm -hmm. So, in these situations, I was testing all of you guys. Who didn't pray, right? We got to always give God the glory. That's right. Right? So, again, and if we're at home, we always can be the light. Breakfast, dinner, lunch, before bed, after bed, you know, waking up, we give God the glory and be the example. Say, hey, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, right. <laughs> friend, neighbor, you know, we got to pray. Let's give right. God, you know, what he rightfully deserves, which is our love and our respect and, you know, our trust. Yes. So we want to give God the glory right now. Lord, Father God, we continue to ask that you have your hand upon these situations. Father God, every situation at home, we pray that you continue to have these kids cultivate them, Father God, continue yes. to grow seeds, Father God, that they can be strong, rooted in your word, Lord Jesus. Give them abundance, love, your glorious face shine upon them, Father God, and continue to teach them to show them that they can have all the trust in you, Lord. And everybody said? Amen. Amen. Okay. So thank you for praying us into our fun exercise that we're going to do for you guys today. So today's topic has been about trust, right? And you guys saw our uh, great assistants do a couple of trust exercises. So we have a fun game for you guys today that consists of balloons, right? And safety darts, safety darts. <laughs> So we can pop the balloons. <laughs> right, right. So again, like we were speaking about earlier, is we have to learn to trust others, and God helps us to learn how to trust others. So we're going to play a fun game where there's going to be two partners, and one is going to be um, blindfolded. Well, we don't have blindfolds, so that's why we know we could improvise. One of them is going to be covering the other's eyes as they give them directions as to where to throw the darts. So I hope you guys are still there and are excited to watch us. And this is a fun game that you guys can maybe do at home with your parents. And, you know, while you pass time right now that we can't really go out to the movies or do anything like that, we can find creative ways to stay entertained, right? Absolutely. So, and again, at the end of this, everything's going to be timed, right? We're going to give a specific amount of seconds to throw darts at balloons. Got to pop the balloons. And at the end of that... The one with the fastest time gets to do one more challenge at the end. Ooh, there's always a challenge. Yeah, and it's not a pie no in pie, the face. right? No, no pie, pie in the face. <laughs> no pie in the face. Not this time. Not this time, guys. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Get up! Get up! All right, guys, come with us so we can do the fun exercise of what are we calling this? The blind dart throw. Blind balloon dart throw. All right, let's go. Let's do this, guys. Okay, guys, who can tell me something they learned about trust? To trust, one, to trust your siblings? Yes, you need to learn how to trust your siblings. Jonah? Uh, that trust is hard to get back if you lost it. Ooh, Ooh. I didn't even teach him that. We must have learned that's, that on his own. <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> so, so before we get into our game, I wanted to leave you guys with five ways we can grow our trust in God. Because we can talk about trust and what it means and that we should trust God. But how do we do it? How do we do that on a every day, in our everyday life? So five ways. One, read the Bible. Get into your word. Read the Bible. Read the Bible stories. Read about Jonah and the whale and how he had to trust God. Pray. Pray often. Pray when you're eating. Pray before you're eating. Like Coach Primer said earlier, we need to pray even when we're doing our lesson. or what. And We can pray all the time. It doesn't have to be just in the morning or at night. It could be throughout the day. So praying is another way to increase our trust in God. Number three, speak often about God and his blessings. So again, when a friend comes up to you and says, well, why do you believe in God? Give him an example of why you believed in God. Because he helped you get a good grade in your test. Because he helped you do good in your sports. Right, Coach Primer? That's absolutely right. He gets the glory all the time. Then number four, show others you trust God. And you do that similarly to how you speak often about him. You show them. You do it with your actions, right? What would be a way to do it with your actions? 
Well, again, when we're coming into a situation that we're uncomfortable with or we're not fully confident in our own skills and my own understanding, put that aside, trust that God's going to bring me through. You guys got that? Is that good? You guys will remember that? You'll be able to share with others. I hope you learned a lot about trust, and we're excited to see these guys trust each other during this game, right? Let's get to it. Get up. We have our first contestants on the show are... (laughs) (laughs) So, again, the rules of the game, one is going to hold the other's vision, they're not going to be able to see, as Mia is doing right now to Juliana. Before she starts, I'm going to grab Juliana. She's going to spin five times in circles. You're going to spin her now. Full five times. And they're going to get in a spot over here. And Mia is going to give her verbal instructions on where to throw the dart. And I hope she doesn't throw it to her big brother because he didn't let her fall while she was in on his shoulders. So it's that simple. At the end of this, the person who has the most darts popped in 10 seconds is going to be the winner. All right? So there always has to be a winner because winners win. My boys. (laughs) Okay, so we need Juliana. You can't see, so close your eyes. And Mia, cover her eyes. All right, Mia, I'm going to need you over here. All right, we ready? And then I'm going to walk her back that way. And you're going to give her the darts. Okay, are you ready? So after I spin her five five times, I'm going to walk her back over here. I'm going to ask for 10 seconds on the clock. So, again, if you're at home, it's a fun way to do this. Go ahead and start doing this when you guys are at home. All right? You guys ready? Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? All right. Here we go. Eyes closed. All right. Super tight. How many fingers? How many fingers do I got? A good answer because one's a thumb. Walk over here. Walk over here. All right. Mia, She's a little face. dizzy, guys. All right. Ten seconds on the clock. Give her instructions, Mia. She's straight. Hey, throw. Oh. Yeah! Oh. She got one. Get it. Ah, you almost whipped me. Throw. Oh! How many was that? Three, two. One. Ah, she got three. Good job, girls. Give me five. Good job. Woo. All right. Let me okay, have you guys have a down. seat over here. Let me get Josiah and JJ up next. All right. Our next contestants on the show are. All right. So I'm gonna need ten seconds. Let's get a ten second count off. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. That's okay. Here we go. Ready? I'm gonna spin you around. Close your eyes. Super tight. Three, four, five. All right, give him instructions, JJ. Ten seconds on the clock. Ten. Nine. Okay, you go straight. Throw. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's a mama's love right there. <laughs> and you still missed it. <laughs> What? We got one three? balloon. One balloon. The girls are leading with three. Okay, maybe the boys are leading with you should, you should have actually in second place. You guys are in last place right now. <laughs> Here we go. You guys ready? So give instructions. Hey, let's count out the spins and let's give a 10 second countdown. Right. Here we go. Ready? ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right. 10 second count. Go. Throw. <gasps> Give instructions, give instructions. All right, grab the dart, go left, left, down. Seven. Go. Oh, you got two. That's two. Hurry up. Five. Hurry up, grab it, hurry up, throw now. Three. Hurry up, throw it. Two. Throw it, throw it. One. Now, two. All right, in order, in order, we have with three balloons popped over here. All right, over here. With two balloons popped over here. And with what? one balloon popped, one you guys can just pop. go out the door. You guys can go. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. Good so job, what you got? Are you guys good spellers? Are you guys good spellers? 
All right. Hey, but before turn around, turn before around. they can spell it, we have to pop all the balloons. So we're going to do something fun. Each of you go ahead and grab a, a dart. Go, go ahead, ahead and Judy. grab a dart and come on this side so you guys can throw the balloons Here. without Here, blocking each other. Come on, get in a line. All right, pop as all the balloons. We got to pop them. Oh, guys, come on. <laughs> you guys did better with your eyes Wait, closed. Go into they're done. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, you guys did. And you guys call yourselves baseball and they're players. They're not even blindfolded. Come on. All right, Everybody here we go. Everybody has to get back. All right. Not even close. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. So if you guys yeah. can see our boards, they're, well, I'll wait till they're done popping all the balloons. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. So if you see the board, as Coach Mom was saying, there's some letters up here. Now, what the winners are going to get to do, and we hope they're good spellers, is they're going to actually have a chance to... Figure out what the word says. All right. So let me get Josiah. Stand here. JJ. Or who was the second place team? Second place team over here. Last place team over there. All right. Shoulder to shoulder, guys. Shoulder to shoulder. All right. You guys are going to have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 3-0. Okay. To pull those letters off of the board and make sure we get them in a good spelling order. Got it? Mia, you know where to start? Take a look at the board. Understand it says something. What do we got? To, what is it going to say? Okay. I'll give you a hint. It, it, the first letter starts with T. All right. So 30 seconds on the board. 30 seconds on the board. All right. We ready? Set. Go. Go rip them off, Mia. Yeah, rip off the letters. Go. Come on. All right. Put, give the first letter to Ethan. Give the first letter to Ethan. All right, that's one. Give the next letter. The Ooh, next letter, give it give to it Ethan, too. He give can it hold two. All right, are we seeing the letter? Are we seeing the words coming out? T-R-U. Did that spell Toys R Us? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Remember, guys, everything that we do, we trust who? Who do we trust? Trust God. Hold them up strong. Hold them up far. Let the, there we go. We got 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh, they got uh, trust God. In trust God? What do you, what do you guys think God? it is? What do you guys think at home is it? What, what is it? What is it? I trust God? What's that? What is it, Sia? What is it? Trust in God. Trust in God. Fix Let's fix it. Let's fix it. <laughs> so squeeze in in the middle. Right there, Mia. Squeeze in be before. No. <laughs> we'll get it right, guys. We need to go back to school. <laughs> Julie, you line up over here, Hart. Mia, yeah, line up right here. You hold the eye. All right, what do we see? Okay, hold them upright so everybody can see them, guys. Okay, let's make a little space between Josiah and Mia. Scoot this way. JJ, scoot. There, stay. <laughs> Julie, scoot this way. All, All right. right. Okay, everybody tell me what it says. Trust in God. Trust in God. Keep them up, guys, so everybody can see them. On three, let's shout it loud. Ready? One, two, three. Trust in God. All right. Everybody at home, make sure you guys are doing the same exact thing just because, again, where do we put our trust? Do we put our trust in man? No. Do we put our trust in our favorite football team? No. Baseball team? No. Singer? No. In who? God. Because God will never let us down. He has a plan for us. 
Now it's one thing to have it in our minds to trust in God. Now it's step number two. We got to walk it out. Let's turn that thought into an action and allow ourselves to be great. What are you guys doing today to be great? What are you guys at home doing to be great? How are you getting better today? How did you get better yesterday? What are you going to do to be better tomorrow? That's right. So we're so happy that you guys were able to watch with us today. And again, we can't wait to have everyone back in the sanctuary, back at the bridge, just doing these fun games there. And we just continue to pray for you and ask God that soon we will all be together. So if we can all gather. Get in tight. Get in tight, guys. Again, we can get in tight because we're all family. <laughs> we are family. No one knows that. <laughs> So remember, guys, we want to put all of our trust, all of our love, everything to God. Remember, he is going to be the one who's going to be able to see us through every situation, through this coronavirus, through this pandemic, through um, situations that we may be coming across now and tomorrow, and even in the past. God is our trust. God is our rock. God is going to be the one who's going to be able to bring us through. Let's get our minds fixed on how we can be better for God today and tomorrow, and forever. Let's be the example. We are the light. You are the light, okay? So we want to pray ourselves out, okay? Lord, Father God, we ask that you continue to have your hand upon this ministry, this service, Father God, and everybody's at home. Have your way with everybody here, Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to build, continue to set a solid foundation, continue to build this rock, Father God, that you can allow your glory, your awesomeness to go out into the world, with these kids. These kids have such an abundant variety of people they can reach. The old, the young, Father God, their friends, Lord Jesus Christ. Allow them to be bold for you. Allow them to trust you, Father God, that when they do step out of their comfort zone and they go out into the world to seek and to expand your kingdom, bless them, Father God. Give them that courage. Give them that excitement. Give them that hunger that's going to be able to set them apart from everybody else in this world. You, Father God, be the one to have your hand upon each and every one of them, every one of you guys at home. I pray God continue to have favor upon everybody at home to keep you in good health, to keep you um, blessed from your head down to your toes, to the bottom of your feet, to everything else in between. I pray that God continue to, to be with everybody at home. We give you all the praise and all the glory. And in Jesus' name. Everybody said. Amen. All right, let's leave everybody with a happy dance. Everybody happy dance, do their happy best dance, happy dance. Happy dance, happy dance. Go, happy dance.